Hello USC 49, this is Marie Henderson. In this video, we're going to look at completing your personal professional learning goal for the coming school year. And so I'm here on the district website and I'm gonna show you quickly how to get to your Frontline account. If you hover over staff resources and go to staff quick links, scroll down a little bit on this page and you'll see the Frontline Education option. So if we click to open that, you'll wanna do your sign in. So you just do your district email address here and then it uses your Office 365 account to log in. And so if you don't have that saved, just remember that it's the same password you use on your computer. When you get here to this screen, you wanna select Professional Growth, and then we're gonna to navigate to your learning plan to make sure that there's not a goal hanging out from previous years. New staff, you can skip ahead of this part and go straight to making your new goal. So returning staff, we're gonna go here to learning plan. And you just wanna check and make sure that sitting here in one of these lists of requests that you don't have a professional development goal from a previous year. So you might have one sitting in drafts or down here under one of these other headings. The one that I have sitting here for the purposes of this video was from 2018-19. But if I click to manage it, we just need to go through the final processes here. And so we want to click either to mark complete or to drop. Typically mark complete is the best option. And so if there's a document you want to attach, that's fine. But then at the bottom, you'll click to submit. And so then we can return to the main frontline dashboard. And so you can check back again on learning plan. And you can see now that professional development goal from a previous year has moved into awaiting final credit. So if we click on forms here at the left, it's the page with the pencil, then one of our options is personal professional development goal 2324. So we click on that, opens it up here, and we wanna click either to edit a previous goal or to add a new personal goal. So if you click to edit, I just have a demo in here. And if this goal is still something you're working on, you can update it as needed and click to save. Or if it's one that you've moved beyond, you can click to make it inactive. And so this screen appears and we click to return. And now we can add a new personal goal. And so once again, you would give it a title and you have a maximum of a thousand characters. And this one, of course, since it's new, would be one you would want to leave active. And so you click to save and now you can see it listed here under a status of pending and you come down to the next set of fields and you type in your teaching assignment. Maybe I teach third grade and click the date icon and select the date that you're submitting this. Scroll down and select here under your personal goals, the goals, and if some of our district things are aligned to that, you can select those as well. Scroll all the way to the bottom, and when you're finished, select to submit. If you save as draft, it will not actually go to your approver, so you need to select to submit. And so once you're finished, confirmation summary comes up, you can click to return, and now you're back out here on the Frontline dashboard again. As always, if you have questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks and have a great day.